Hi, so welcome to a week in my live vlog. I took forever to edit this vlog because my neighbors have been amazing at making unbelievable and unbearable amounts of noise. Anyway, this is what my Friday evening looks like. I'm just painting this commission that I got. So this is one of the oddest commissions I've ever done. So you can see that the background has been painted, the flowers are white, um, some of the leaves are just done. And that is basically how it came to me. And I'm just supposed to like fill in the blanks and try and fix some of the things up. I'm gonna guess my client just didn't have enough time to finish it. And the odd request is also to just do it to 70% of my capability. It's quite honestly a massive commission. It's a 70, oh, I keep saying 70, it's a 90 centimeter by 60 centimeter uh, board. I have no idea what type of board it is. He actually gave it to me. So that's about that. I actually quite enjoyed making this painting because it didn't require a lot of brain power. <laughs> it's just like a very soothing process, which sometimes I don't get with my other paintings. It can be quite stressful to get everything perfect for the client. And this client's request was to make sure that my details aren't as perfect. So that was really nice. So I don't know if you can see, but I'm actually watching YouTube in the background. So right now I'm watching um, videos from Uncomfy & Co, which is by Tammy, and I absolutely love it. I usually like to put the voices in my head on shuffle, but today I was like, let's go watch some YouTube, and I'm so glad I discovered Uncomfy & Co. She really makes me want to get into polymer clay and sculpting. It's honestly quite hard sometimes to find time to do paintings of this size because I'm a uni student but I just had my finals and I'm all done with that and I'm just getting ready for a study abroad in Australia now. So I'm really excited for that and really happy that I can bring you guys along too. So recently I've been getting into digital art a lot. So since I'm just starting out, I'm just getting used to the layers and how easy it is to, you know, just like go over your mistake. And if it's in paint, then I just have to paint over something. But this is just as easy as erasing it off. And I've also been really grateful um, to other artists for just helping me figure out and giving me advice and tips. I think the first thing that I want to officially do is to make my own stickers and sell them somewhere. <laughs> Maybe on like an Etsy shop and something. So I decided to add more detail to the leaves because they looked quite bare. So I'm just going over them with a finer brush than the one that my client used. I quite honestly like to go over them twice to make sure that they're quite opaque because Right now they're very transparent in some places and that honestly bothers me a lot. So afterwards I also clean up the background to make sure that everything is nice and outlined and it just looks better when you look at it. So my client actually came and dropped off some of the paints that he was using and I thought that was the nicest thing ever. This is the reference that he gave me and this is what it looks like right now. And basically you just have to paint inside the fringe penny. It's what I'm trying to explain here. So as you can see, the leaf strokes that are painted are quite transparent and I still have to go over them so that they look quite similar to the other ones. I really like this bottle of green. I think it's such a pretty color. <laughs> so behold my absolutely magnificent plate. I absolutely refuse to buy a palette, so this is what I have to do with. So I love a good DIY and this is what I'm using as an easel. It's just a stool which I have placed this massive ca canvas, canvas board on or whatever type of board it is. So now I'm finally doing the Frangipani um, 
don't know what it's say coloring painting the the inside stuff of it uh, this was quite nice i thought it would be harder but it, it was quite enjoyable so that's what i kind of want to buy because i really need a tripod it's only 550 which is like good enough if it's like something that's bad like it's 550 it looks pretty good with the remote bluetooth um remote at bluetooth remote what i don't even know what i'm saying but yeah it looks pretty good and the reviews look fine so i think i'm just gonna buy this for 550 i kind of wish it was taller but then i think it's gonna be okay excited for when it's gonna come i'm only getting two things because i'm trying to have some self control is what i'm trying to have and these look nice I'm contemplating whether i should get two of these okay bye so it's finally saturday and we're going to the market this is me and my aji's tote bags and this is basically everything i had a fan two small bags my sunglass case and an extra bag just in case i find something to thrift because after the market we're going to nandy to go to some pretty nice thrift shops that's the outfit for today and that's my uni i am finally done so i no longer go there and this is the road to the market it's actually really nice and calming and this was me realizing that this might be one of the last times I ever go to the market since I'm moving away to Australia for a study abroad. I honestly love coming to the Vunda market. It's filled with small business owners and their crafts. We got a cute baby plant from here. I call it Theo. As an artist myself, I absolutely love looking at other people's paintings, the prints they make. I just find it so refreshing to see what art can do for you. So whenever I'm having an art block, I just feel like going to a place like the Vuda market just helps me to come out of that. If you look closely, you can see a goat in the background. People all through really nice. This guy right here is saying morning to me. My dad ended up buying a few books from here and they also brought out two dogs that's chuck he started sweating because it was quite hot and humid so he got this juice it was only 50 cents that's a steal i thought this interaction made my highlight for the month I haven't met my friend here. It's really nice seeing her. Do you want to be in my video? <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> and this is the pie that I got from her. It's a chicken and mushroom pie, and it was so nice. It's finally time to go to the next location, which is thrifting in Nandi. So yeah, let's go. I didn't quite get to film because it was so busy, but now we're just going to lunch. It's this cute Korean place in Nandi. It's actually a Korean barbecue place, but we just decided to try out their other dishes today. Now we're just leaving to go home and it started raining so badly.
so this is everything that i bought from the thrift shop i didn't actually get clothes but i decided to buy this frame to frame up one of my art pieces i thought it would look really good the second thing i got was this box that's filled with um kind of like cards there's this really nice painting or illustration on it and i thought it would be a really nice thing to give to my customers when they order for me as a really cute personalized thank you note there was honestly quite a lot so i was quite pleased with this purchase it's only five dollars and it's brand new unused so what more can i honestly ask for from the thrift shops so now i'm just assembling one of my paintings i've done this on acrylic paper so it's gonna look really nice if i frame it up I have no idea why but everyone tells me that this duck is the saddest duck they have seen but I just think it's such a like a cute, smirky, playful duck. So I'm basically redoing the whole process because I didn't like how the paper, the white, was peeking out at the back. I just thought it would look neater with the brown. I was wrong again, it really needed the white because with the brown it just looked so bad. So I did this process one more time before I was finally happy with it. So it's Sunday and I don't really have much planned. I'm just going to finish up this commission. It's the same size as the other one and just end my night by watching some Twilight. So that's all I have for you. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Okay, bye.